take care of, of course, the, the personnel. You're trying to ensure that we minimize the effect on the business as much as possible. We're trying to take care, assist the the owners with removal of the animals to make sure that they are taken care of. Now at 5, a breaking news update on a large fire at a meat processing plant. Dozens of people and livestock are safe tonight after a fire in Nash County. It happened at a meat processing facility in Bailey shortly after 9 o'clock this morning. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman joins us live there tonight after being out there all day. And Bridget, what's it looking like now? Angela, crews have been out here all day. They actually just started to take off within these past few minutes, but you can see there are still some fire trucks out here. And officials tell me this started first thing this morning. Workers here when the facility was up and running saw some smoke and then called 911. Pigs roam free as a fire erupts in the slaughterhouse at Custom Quality Packers. The facility in Nash County caught fire around 9 Wednesday morning. Officials say about 20 workers and 100 hogs were inside at the time. With everything that's going on, it, it takes a group of folks to manage a thing like this. Deputy Fire Marshal John Frazier tells me more than a dozen departments responded. They had to make entry to fight the fire while also making sure the people and pigs got out safely. Our, our number one job is to make sure that we take care of life, property, and, and when we talk about life, we, we also put animals into that life. About 75 firefighters from three different counties tackled the flames. The heat was a concern all day. Crews say one firefighter went to the hospital for heat exhaustion. Hey, it does put a more of increase of uh, safety on our personnel. Workers brought the animals to other facilities to be checked out as they play a large role in the business being home of the barbecue pigs. See, this is a farming community. We know that. This is somebody's livelihood. Firefighter who went to the hospital is expected to be okay. I spoke to the owners of the facility here today. They didn't want to talk on camera, but they did say they're just happy everyone is okay. Reporting live in Nash County, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News. That is some good news, Bridget. Thank you.